St. Lucia has been sustaining efforts in managing the national COVID-19 response over the course of this year. A core component of this response is screening and testing for the virus. A total of 1,955 tests have been carried out to date, and as of July 10, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 22 confirmed cases of COVID-19, and 19 of these cases have fully recovered, with three currently in care and progressing well. On Thursday, July 9, 2020, St. Lucia received the first international flight since the border opening on June 4, 2020. A total of 131 passengers traveled into St. Lucia, which were a combination of both nationals and visitors. As guided by the established protocol for all arriving passengers were screened by the health team at the Iwanora International Airport Public Health Facility before entering the airport terminal. None of the passengers displayed respiratory symptoms nor had fever. A total of six PCR tests were done at the airport on arrival and these travelers were unable to travel into the island with their documented results. Passengers were later filtered to one of the locations established for the quarantine period. Many processes were put in place to ensure the efficient processing of the arriving travelers at the airport health facility. The processing of the 131 passengers of Thursday, July 9th lasted for about an hour and 30 minutes in total. A debriefing meeting was held immediately after the process was complete, and this involved representatives from the Ministry of Health of the St. Lucia Air and Seaport Authority and representatives of all of the other relevant agencies. This al allowed to identify the strengths within the current process flow, as well as to identify areas requiring improvements. These improvements will focus on supporting the smooth flow of the passengers, which includes increased signage, dedicated lines for passengers with different conditions, and the use of a numbering system to provide some order in attending to the travelers and increased number of booths for the processing of health screening. As we continue into the phase reopening of the country, we continue to advise the public to maintain the recommended public health measures to reduce the risk of transmission of COVID-19 in the event of the importation of cases. We will continue to provide regular updates on the national COVID-19 response to the public.